a little bit better without the dot. Oh how, shit. How is that possible? What fascinating technology. Hey, take me up, elevator. Oh, oh fuck. My. Whoa, look at those big statues carved into the mountain. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Oh shit. Something got fucking eaten. Oh no. They probably exploded it. That's a big ass puzzle right there. It's a camera. Okay, medical tent. What's in the box? That black ooze again. <clears throat> that Imsa Ro Roy blew up the hatch to smithereens and blew himself up with it. Don't worry, Doc. I have Mr. Everhart's okay and that. And this is just a controlled detonation. Ah, three feet closer and I would, wouldn't be here to tell the story. I got splashed with that black ooze and it took me the whole damn evening to clean it off. Oh, I wonder if that's the doctor that slowly lost his mind. Skin alterations. Skin alterations like, appearing on my left hand like today. Similar hands. to angiomas. Allergic eczema? Cyanosis? Let's hope not. I took some samples of my blood to analyze. Ask for a photo of Everhart's wife hands. That's me. Heavens. Oh. He's losing his mind. Is this the uh pattern I need to follow? Stop playing that music. Stop it. Stop it. That's enough. I like it very much. Oh. The spots on my skin are moving. I can feel them. Is there something in the well? I can hear voices at night. In fact, I could swear they're calling my name. And who's playing that music? Oh, I wonder if it's the music box that I was talking about earlier. And there's the pattern I most likely have to follow. Okay, hey, nothing else to see there. Oh shit! Cripes! This man was splashed with that black liquid. The ooze. Whoever took this picture must have a really cool head. Those spots look Left all too familiar. Left-hand photo. July fifteenth. Is this a picture of my hand? Oh. Erythrocytes. Hmm. Undefined substance. Cells? Pulsating affecting erythrocytes. 1246. Huh. Nothing else? Hey. Ugh, I can't stand the smell of medical equipment. It reminds me of my illness. Let's take a quick gander down the ladder. I'd better not touch it. And given what happened, they shouldn't have either. Is this stone structure a hatch of some sort? Let's take a quick peek down Moving. here. And I'm then we'll go down. back to the magnifying on, glass breath. thing. Oh shit, there's a weird humming down here. 
How long is this ladder? Oh, there's a bunch of whispering. I don't is like somebody it. Somebody whispering? Hello? Is anyone down here? Ah. This eye. It, is it calling to me? Do they have two pupils? Were these eyes related to the ritual? I can press these star-shaped tiles. Oh, shit. doesn't want to stick down. Maybe we start with that one? Go this way? Oh, still doesn't want to connect there. Maybe we start with that one and go this way. Reset everything. Also, this eyeball is another eye. Ah, uh, I hear whispering. What oh, canal? Wait. Oh, that didn't stop it. Go up here. Am I just trying to fill everything with ooze? No, I fucked it up. I don't know why this one's yellow. Oh shit. What is this? What is this? People are praising the stars. Okay. Rituals, you other realities, forgotten civilization, Harry. not Polynesian. Let me see if I can solve it. Black ooze used to replicate ritual. Check tilling gas pamphlet. Replicate this looks ritual. Like the job by handyman Harry. Okay. Maybe he heard the whispers too. Mr. Everhart, the doctor's been acting like an oddball ever since he was splashed with that ooze, and he's gotten worse after moving to the top of the cliff. Keep an eye on him, Frank. Well, he definitely jumped. Okay. Give the ooze to all the eyeballs? That's terrifying. Well, that was easy. Oh, is that just a shortcut? Okay. Okay, so maybe I should try to replicate the ritual first. This should save some time. And then we can go back and try to figure out that star puzzle. Go to the ooze machine. Yeah, this guy. Wait.
Oh, these are the eyes that are calling out to me. Okay. So, big one at the bottom. And then the one over. Two over. Okay, maybe the one at the bottom isn't big enough. Maybe it needs to be up here. Okay, and then one... another and over another mm. no I think it needs to be on the bottom level well let's try we'll just do two pokes of that one and then we'll do one poke of this one two pokes of that one no because it only goes up to three right Oh, maybe it needs to be over one more, just a scooch. Uh, over one more. Wait, I gotta reset this one. Hmm. Is that it? That looks like it. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works. Or what to do with it. Yeah, we definitely need a three there. But I don't know where this two is supposed to go. Maybe it's supposed to go here? Not really sure how this thingamajig works. Oh. What to do oh. with it? Well, it's definitely a two. But I don't think it's far enough over. That's too far. Well, damn. Maybe I have to do all of them at once? So, let's do 3-3. Three, three. Right in the middle is a 2. And then up 1. Is a one? I'm not really sure hmm. how this thingamajig works. Or what to do with it. Maybe I need more than just two eyeballs. Looks like there's space for a third eyeball there. Alright, good thing I unlocked that shortcut. Let's go climb down onto the spiky ass bridge. Eyeballs whisper to me. Here we got one eyeball there. Oh, this one. I hear it. I'd, I'd better draw it just in case. All right. 
None of the other ones are oozing. Oh, they're whispering it. It stopped. Oh, okay. Was I imagining all that? I just missed that last one, I guess. We probably have to draw them all at once. Because we can't, like, add a second thing. I tried to pick up those little lenses or whatever they were. Because the telescope thing is missing something. Something's missing here. Yeah, just double checking that. This is the pamphlet, yeah. Okay. So the third one is a three five, and that's a big one. And then we do one up and two over. One up and two over, and we do a one. No. Maybe this guy isn't high enough. Oh shit, we got it. Yes, I think I solved it. Hell yeah. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. Who knows? But I bet you we can put it into here. Yeah. It fits. Oh, what? Oh, it's the what puzzle. Is, what is happening? Okay, you start at the big star, and then My okay, God. perfect. That's what? awesome. What Love was it. That, that I saw. What were those stars? I know what those stars are. I don't care if you don't, lady. To the stars. Okay, start with the big star. And then we go one here. Oh, this ominous fucking music playing, Jesus. Go there. And we go around to this one. One. Two over. Wrap up and around to this one, and then out to this guy. All right, looks like I solved it. Oh boy! Pushing the button. Great oh Scott. fuck! The, the, the oh shit! That's black ooze. No, no, no. Oh fuck! It's it's I, I Get out, swim, go. I can't. I can't. Oh shit. It was all a mistake. I take it back. Ah, Nora. We got oozed. What is this? Where am I? What am I walking on? Am I dreaming again? I think so. Oh, this is not. different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't oh. stop walking. My legs aren't responding. Oh shit, what is that? Was that a creature? Holy Moses, what... What is that creature on the horizon? Oh, he looked mad.
He doesn't look like a friendly guy. Wait a moment. I no, no, no. Oh shit. I I can breathe underwater. Whoa. Okay. I have to get back. I I have to find What is that? What kind of creature is this? Go we'll find out. Oh. I need to the get a closer control. look. Oh shit, I'm a fish person now. What the fuck? Okay. Turned into the shape of water guy. Oh, I'm a person again. Uh, what, what happened? Oh, how did I get to this beach? I don't oh, know. I have a terrible headache. I bet. The vanishing of the Lady Shannon. This is fucking dope. Cast so far up the beach. Wow. What on earth could have happened to it? Okay, well, I'm gonna explore elsewhere first. Shit's all plugged in. Ropes are frayed, and there are strange marks oh, on the wooden pole. Something was tied up here. Maybe? Holy shit, look at the claw marks on that thing. Looks like they took items from the stranded ship. Oh, I can barely see anything. The menu is rather limited here. Oh, don't be making jokes about food right now. You just washed up on the beach. You don't even know where you are. It's too dark to see anything inside the tents. I should find a way to turn these lights. Hey, this sailor is a dead ringer for my grandpa Isaiah. Okay. Found the secret object in chapter three. Oh. Dead as a doornail. Okay, we gotta find a way to turn these bad boys on. This way. This way. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, can I walk up there? Where's that? Let's go into a picture of some kind. Up here is some sort of mural in the stone. Okay, no, let's fix the lights and then we'll wander the rest of it. Maybe the storm will stop by the time we fix these lights. I don't know if someone in the expedition was a cook, but I really hope they didn't rely on Harry for it <laughs> when he lived in the dormitory. He only ate out of tomato soup and corn can. Mm. Oh my god. The ship's hull was ripped open. A few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. Okay. Oh, shit. I need to go upstairs? Uh, 
This place gives me the creeps. Okay. I can't see any trace of the ship's crew. No, they were dead as a doornail. Look. Keep following. Oh, that creeped the shit out of me. Lady Shannon, Sydney, Australia. Oh, there's a thing missing. Hmm. No power. No, wrong. I'll try again. This isn't right. Okay. No, wrong. I'll try again. Hey, dumb luck. Okay. Now, what exactly did I turn on? Can always use a little bit of dumb luck. Okay, wait. Let's check out this way first. That voice. Is that Harry? Oh shit. No. Just a recording. What, you couldn't tell that was a record recording from the start? Hmm, the ship was wailing not far from here. Let's check the back. Nothing. Hmm, this is the captain's last entry. July 14th, good weather and clear sailing until a surprise undercurrent shook the ship. I haven't seen the sea that rough in years. First mate swears he saw a huge sea creature near our hull shortly afterwards. Definitely not a whale. Even the crew of the ship that brought Harry's expedition to this island were afraid of it. We delivered the six members of the Everhart expedition to the island without incident. We'll come back to pick them up in three weeks. If there's anything left to pick up then. Left the island after lunch, no incidents. The area nearby seems adequate for whaling. Might get a good catch. Frank is certainly a resourceful man. I've wired up your message to the radio like you asked, Mr. Everhart. It'll keep broadcasting as long as the ship's got fuel. God help us, Frank. I was thinking this. Ex looking for in the heart of the island. I was thinking this expedition had failed, but then I found those star stairs that led me to the giant stone organ. It might be another way to get to the very heart of the island. In any case, there's nothing we can do until someone hears our distress call. Apparently. Harry's expedition waited for a long time to be rescued. Oh. Did they give up hope? On the island the of is more real Ponape, than it seems. there's a city called Non Madal that's composed entirely of large basalt structures. Legend has it the city was built with floating stones moved by black magic. The black ooze's properties are. Black ooze test. Changes consistency. Slash levitates when exposed to different vibration frequencies. And I was completely covered in that black goo. I wonder what it'll do to me. Everything on this rotten island has something to do with that damn black ooze. One way or another, the ancient ruins, the ritual well, even Dr. DeWitt's irrational behavior seems to be related to his getting exposed to that awful liquid. Bunch of notes. Bunch of stuff. Alright. Of 
What is the point in this? I don't have any number notes, do I? Okay, let's back up. Oh shit, we got a lot to read. I used the stone block from the secret compartment to activate some sort of ancient elevator. This gunk that many of the crew members refer to as black ooze seems to gurgle in the cracks in the stone. I found a shocking scene atop the cliff. An explosion tore open an ancient stone hatch, burning most of the rocky outcrop around it. Is this what killed Roy? I climbed down into the well that Harry's crew blew open. A series of strange eyes were depicted on the wall. They were calling to me, guiding me. Am I losing my mind? The crew's doctor was spattered with the black ooze during the explosion that killed Roy. He developed marks on his arms like mine and started acting strangely. The murals tell a story of a ceremonial ritual involving the black ooze, where they injected it into their eyes. I'm not sure, but I think the islanders tried to initiate it. Harry tried to replicate the well ritual by tweaking his strange optical device, staining the lens with black ooze. I don't think he ever... I don't think he ever it achieved it. But I have. What I saw through the lens left me speechless. I get the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. I lost consciousness inside that well and got covered in black ooze, but I didn't drown. Instead, I had the strangest dream. I mean, it was a dream, wasn't it? Or a vision, maybe? I'm still not sure. I couldn't control my own body. I jumped off a cliff and dived into the sea. November 7th. I woke up in the dead of the night on a black beach, but I can't remember how I got here. I've just got fuzzy memories like a dream. An enormous shipwreck casts a shadow over the black sands on this beach, and it looks, it looks like the lights are shining through the cracks in its hull. Then a bunch of missing notes. Well, I'm probably supposed to come to this bit later. But let's read on. The ship has several colossal gases along its side. Unusual in shape, it should have sunk in the ocean outright. How did it end up ashore? I thought I heard Harry's voice, but it turned out to be a call for help that he left broadcasting from the ship. I wonder if anyone responded. The ship is completely abandoned. What happened to its crew? The members of the expedition used whatever they could find inside the beach ship to build another campsite on this black lava beach. Harry discovered the black gunk might have different applications. The ooze reacts to different sound frequencies, and some even make it float in the air. Did the inhabitants of this island know that too? Okay, now that we have the... These oh. knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber.